Congratulations, Marvel. Congratulations, Disney. Congratulations, the entire cast of all Marvel movies. And congratulations to the Marvel fans worldwide. We did it! We dethroned James Cameron's Avatar as the highest grossing movie in history. <laughs> it has been done. I wasn't sure it was going to be done, but it has been done, my friends. Let's see what entertainment has to say about it. it says, Thanos would say it was inevitable. Tink. Marvel's superhero epic Avengers Endgame is set to unseat, what do you mean set? Wait a minute. It's set to unseat James Cameron's sci-fi smash Avatar as the highest grossing film ever at the worldwide box office. Disney announced Saturday, as of Friday, in-game's global haul clocked in at $2,789,200,000, just 500000 short of Avatar's $278,000. Two billion seven hundred eighty-nine million seven hundred thousand, and it should close the gap by Sunday. Ah, so it's not totally official yet. Directed by Anthony and Joe Russo, Endgame has been in theaters for 13 weeks and has been a box office juggernaut. <laughs> Last month, Disney re-released the movie with additional footage to get it over the hump. Avatar, which was first released in 2009, has also been reissued in various territories over the years. Alan Horn, co-chairman of Chief Creative Officer of the Walt Disney Studios, said in a statement, a huge congratulations to the Marvel Studios and Walt Disney Studios teams, and thank you to the fans around the world who lifted Avengers Endgame to these historic heights. Of course, even with the passage of a decade, the impact of James Cameron's Avatar remains as powerful as ever, and the astonishing achievement of both of these films are all going proof of the power of movies to move people to bring them together in a shared experience. The talented filmmakers behind the world have much more in store, and we look forward to the future of both Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Pandora. <laughs> Once in-game passes Avatar, which was first released in 2009, Cameron will still lay claim to the number two and three films of all time, the latter being 1997's Titanic, with 2,187,500,000. Disney, meanwhile, now controls the Avatar franchise since acquiring Fox's film and TV assets in a huge deal earlier this year. Cameron is working on four Avatar sequels. As the Marvel Cinematic Universe in-game marked the end of an era, but Marvel Studios began unveiling plans for the future of the franchise at San Diego Comic-Con Saturday. Upcoming movie schedule include The Eternals and Shang-Chi. So I guess it's as good as done. I guess tomorrow we will find out officially, but I will call this our celebration. This is my celebration video. I won't be making a video saying, hey, we did it. I'll be making a video if we don't do it. You get what I'm saying? So, it should make it. It'll be official tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. So let me know what you all think. How do you feel? I'm sure it feels good. I'm sure it feels good, especially to the Russo bros. Congratulations. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoy my video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.